Hi, I'm Faith from Finding Faith's Future, and today I am sharing my Grandma D's A to Z quick bread, which is great because it's September here, which is the beginning of fall, and zucchini is plentiful at the farmer's market, and then pumpkin's gonna be coming up also. But the bread is simple. It's a basic recipe, so you just swap out the main ingredient and you can make a ton of variety of different breads. I love baking in the fall, and it gets me back into the swing of baking and warming my house and the smell. And we also have baby number five coming the beginning of December. So I am also in the process of filling my freezer for food that we can eat when um, I am down <laughs> with the new baby. So follow along and I have links to the blog post with the recipe that's printable and um, a variety of different ways that we make it. So look for those down below. I have put in my sugar and coconut oil. Um, I go back and forth between butter and coconut oil, which coconut oil, it doesn't taste coconutty, but it gives it a moisture flavor. And um, when I'm low on butter, I just go ahead and use coconut oil because I get the huge jugs at Costco. So I'm gonna whip this up real quick, mix it up. going to add in the eggs. Um, it calls for three eggs, but what I do is I usually do one whole egg and then I do two tablespoons of ground flaxseed with six tablespoons of water. So it makes two eggs worth. Add some nutrients and you can't tell the difference. Now I'm going to add in my A to Z ingredient today. For this one is smashed bananas, two cups worth. Okay, I'm gonna stop that right there. Move this up to the side. Three cups of flour, one teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of baking soda, one teaspoon baking powder, stir it up. This makes two loaf pans, or you could do muffin pans, or today I am gonna line up parchment paper lined pan and do bars.
Okay, the banana bars have been sitting on the oven and the kids have actually <laughs> dug into them. Here's the banana bars. They also did the same recipe. I just switched out banana for pumpkin bread. You can also switch out the cinnamon for pumpkin pie spice, which is really good. I didn't have any today, so I just left the cinnamon in as is, and I just switched banana for pumpkin in the recipe. And it's pumpkin that I actually used, I bought from the store last year, cooked it in my pressure cooker, which I have a post on my website about how I did that. I, so that was the last jar of pumpkin bread. So it is September, so I will be loading up again soon and doing the same process that I do. So I'll leave that link below. I will give you a couple shots of this and head over to the website to get the recipe. And it's a printable version, so you can just print it out and stick it in with your 